Hey everybody, High Tech Hillbilly here. I just wanted to show you what, something that I've been messing with. It's a Web ODM. It's a an open source software for mapping, doing geo mapping, 3D, and it's pretty neat. So I flew the drone, did a mission to capture a bunch of photos on a grid pattern above the property. You can see here that the altitude, let me get this oriented for you, the altitude is this constant altitude here that the drone flew. But if you look behind the property we have a big slope here. It's actually steeper than this, or well, it seems like it's steeper than this in real life but according to this software it's not as steep as we think it is in addition to that it looks like the front of the property or the entire property slopes much more severely than we originally thought so this is just a rough 3d model as you can see here the drone flew in this zigzag grid pattern but it only flew one direction what I need to do now, now, in order to capture much more detail, is I need to fly in another direction, opposite direction, basically create a mesh, and then I need to fly it diagonally. And hopefully, once I combine all of that data together, out of all of those pictures, we will have a much clearer definition picture of our property in a 3D fashion. So, Right now you can see the barn looks pretty pitiful, the house looks pitiful, everything, you know, a lot of trees that exist aren't fully represented. But that's just, you know, my own fault for not flying more missions and combining them. So, I just thought I'd show this to y'all. Here's our pond. And let you, I don't know, let me know what you think about this and what I'm doing and I don't know it's pretty boring probably for most people but this is the kind of stuff that I like to do and if you look up here each one of these is actually a picture so if I click on one let's just click on a random one here How about that one so there's the actual picture of you know of that guy right there anyway so that's that. Web ODM is not something that uh, is for everybody. Now it's better than paying four hundred dollars a month for another platform that does basically the same thing. This is open source. Um, it's free if you know how and want to take all the time to install and configure all the different packages. And it's on Linux, by the way. Um, or you can pay for it. To get those packages, those packages um, ready to install, the Windows installation it basically runs it in a VM, a Linux VM, and uh, so the the product is not native to Windows, but it can run on Windows inside of a virtual machine. So let me know what y'all think about this. I think it's pretty neat, but I'm a High Tech Hillbilly. So, anyway, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please feel free to click that like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. High Tech Hillbilly out.